all right so today i'm going to show you how you can make a wallet using python django and uh, how the system or how you should design the database and uh, how you should take care of the other stuff like payments and the things so basically i'm going to talk about how you can design your data structure and the flow of the money and uh, so first of all uh, let's say you have a app here the Django app let's name it Django app and uh, what this will do in this um, you will have to create a model like class uh, in which you can store all of your data obviously when, if you know Django then you know what is a data model class and uh, let's say you have a wallet class name with wallet and what you are storing there is um user and uh to associate which users wallet is this okay and user and uh, after that you can store like the amount okay so you can store the amount here in the database and obviously you have a built-in built-in user so let's say this is the built-in user and you will have to associate this user to this one here and uh, uh, let me fix it a little bit okay so this what is this and uh, then this is uh this is the default so default <laughs> this is the default user database this is the default user database that Django provides. Uh, what I'm doing. Uh, let's move it a little bit here. And let me associate this one with this. Okay, let's make it a little bigger. Uh, user, okay. this is the default user so this is the default user database uh, sorry uh, table and you will have to associate with the wallet and uh, then what you will have to do is uh, integrate a payment get gateway so uh, let's say you have stripe here so this is the stripe module and uh, what you can do is uh, obviously you will have to set up some um, payment integration and you will also you must have a stripe account as well so whenever uh, the user pay so let's say uh, the user pay then it will go to uh, so uh, we have first section which is a uh, user will pay and uh, another we have to store that to a real account so let's say we will store in our stripe and after that user wants to pay to someone else this one and how you gonna handle that okay let's say here we are storing the money that user just paid and let's fix it and we store the money and here user spends user spends the stored money okay so first of all if whenever the user uh, will whenever the user will pay to, uh, into your wallet then you will have to store that money into somewhere and this is where stripe will come to play okay you will have to store the payment into your account and whenever user wants to pay user wants to uh, let's say user wants to pay the money then what it will have to do is you will uh, user will um, in the backend user will pay from their account but behind the scenes what uh, the Django app will do is, is that it will go to your account and it will uh, pay to the a receiver so let's say here is a receiver which have nothing to do with the Django app so 
so this is the receiver and whenever the user have to pay then the money will go from here to here i guess um i'm not too much professional in this thing but uh, for practicing and for demo projects i guess uh, you can do this and for building a portfolio i guess this is uh, this will be a good idea so let's recap so first of all you have a django app and you have a class uh, which is the rep uh, representation of your database and in which you will have to store a user uh, you have a default a user model table sorry default user table and you will have to make that reference using foreign key and after associating user with that you will have to initialize uh, you will have to initialize a wallet for that user you can either use signals or whatever you want and uh, initially you can set the amount default is equal to zero and whenever the user pay using uh, on your on the wallet of your website then it will go to store the money and where the money will be stored into your stripe account okay after storing into account the now the user wants to pay to someone so what behind in the django app what how the things will be going that if user wants to pay the money then uh, the django app will go to your account and pay through that account and uh, last and one of the most important thing is that the money should be deducted from here how so let's say the amount was x amount Uh, sorry this hyphen is serves no purpose x amount and let me keep it into brackets so user wants to pay this much amount so whenever the user so in the initial steps whenever the user pay you will have to also uh, update this amount as well so initially it will be zero initially it will be zero and then after adding then it will be the amount that user just paid so let's get it zero plus the amount user paid okay so this will be updated into the database and after after user receives the money then you will also have to after on success you will have to uh, deduct the amount as well from the user's uh, wallet in your website so this will go to this will be like amount minus paid amount like this okay so this is how you can do the things and uh, uh, yeah that's pretty pretty much it for this video i'll see you in the next